All right, first 250 miles or so are in the books. And uh, I'll give you a little tour of this bad Oscar. As you already know, 2012 Kawasaki Concourse 14. 1,400 cc's. It's got a jibby box on the back. Diana's brother put this on. Very nice. It's got the hard bag just like the FJR and the uh, Triumph had. John also put on this LED tail light here. So that flashes when you pull the brakes on. He upgraded the exhaust. It's got a nice little raspy tone to it. Nothing too loud or too crazy, but um, definitely gives the bike a nice little bark when you get on it. Yep, Corbin seat with the Kawasaki green piping on it. This is the OEM tank bag that goes with this bike. I have a couple other ones, but this one here is just fantastic. It's got a window in there for a GPS. You can run power into it. Um, straps on really nice. Rain cover. You know, all that good stuff. Really good. Good bag, for sure. He also equipped it with some extra lighting. Uh, these two switches here run these is one on either side and these and he also put these on here just to give a little bit more um, light facing forward for visibility those come on automatically every time you turn the key uh, interesting interesting thing about this bike oh yeah and heated grips that's pretty cool neat thing about this bike it doesn't have its standard typical ignition key it's got this system called k-pass and all you need to do is have this key fob nearby to start the bike and to start it you push that in and you get a message will pop up if you push it hard enough right there Turn the knob to run. Put it in neutral. Fire it off. So that's the current mileage on the bike right now. Um, had just under 16,000 when I got it. So I put uh, about eh, probably close to 300 miles on it. It's got traction control, and it's also got um, anti-lock brakes. And those you can turn on and off just with a flip of a switch, which is pretty cool. Um, naturally, you got to have the uh, electric windshield. I don't know how good you can hear that exhaust, but it is pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, pretty badass. You can see this thing lights up like a Christmas tree with all those extra lights on. All right, it's getting smelly in here. So, John also put a couple of chargers in here, USB chargers. Headlights are adjustable right there. Standard cigarette lighter plug. I'm going to see if I haven't tried this yet. But it's got that same glove box like the FJR had right there. And it looks like John left some goodies in here. Yeah. Oh, it's his old insurance card and stuff. I'll send that back to him. But yeah, it's uh, I guess a good place to keep your registration stuff. There's no outlet in there or anything, but that's okay. There's plenty of them on this bike. Well, that has to be off, I think, in order to get that to latch or something. He told me it was kind of weird. 
There we go. So yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with it. It's very comfortable. Uh, it doesn't have that, you know, typical painful seat you get on these sport tours. I mean, this thing's really, really comfortable. You can sit up close here, and it's even got a little dish so you can sit back a little further. Plus, he was smart and put the risers on it. Brings the handlebars up a couple inches and puts them right where they need to be. It's got this little fairing on top of here to help direct a bubble of air above the windscreen. It works very, very well. I had it played around with it a little bit today. Um, and it works very, very well. Um, yeah, but I got to tell you, no complaints. Uh, I mean, I really, really like this bike. I think, and I say this a lot, that I'll keep keeping this one for a long time, but I'm sure I'll have it at least as long as I had the FJR because, as you know, I really love that bike. And, uh, you know, this thing's every bit, you know, the FJR was, and uh, a little bit more. Oh, yeah, one other thing I forgot to show you. John put the crash bars on here and here with replaceable sliders. So if it ever does fall over and this gets messed up, you can replace these little aluminum pieces. He also put some lowered pegs on here, which are nice. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to like them or not, but I actually do. They're, they make it very comfortable. Um, definitely more comfortable than my other, my last two bikes. So, yeah, very happy with it. Very happy with the price. Very happy with the performance. And uh, definitely like the looks. This is one sharp freaking bike. I mean, it looks like a freaking monster. Anyway, I hope you guys are having fun out in uh, Washington. And I'll be talking to you again soon. Bye.